This is the Cebulor Fish Hunter HF360. So yesterday we were boating in the Cebulor Fish Hunter and noticed a small leak coming from the back of the boat. There's bubbles coming out and it was getting flatter and flatter as the day went on. So this video is going to show you how to fix a leak, identify the leak, and fix the leak. And I have a ghost that's going to help me do it. So yesterday I noticed one small leak. But we were fishing on it for about four hours and it was fine. But you know, you never want to have a leak. But you can feel safe even though there is a leak because there's five different chambers. So if you have one leak in one chamber, you know, you have four other chambers. So you still feel safe. Step one. <laughs> Step one is what? Step one, pump up the boat. All right, turn it on, Chase. So this charger attaches to the car lighter of the car. And the whole boat, as you can see, only takes about 15 minutes to pump up five different chambers. Step two, you use soap in the water to find the leak. So we're using the spray bottle with soap and water. I'm gonna do it. And Chase is just gonna spray. Spray right here, I think that's a leak there. Spray. Not too, okay, like that, spray. And we're just gonna see if any bubbles more, more. are created. Because if there's bubbles that's created, okay, okay. then we know, yep, there's the leak. Uh -oh. That is the leak right there. Yeah, you see it right away. You can see that bubbles are forming in that area. Yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. like going in. There's the leak. So that's what we gotta patch up. But how? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Step three, wipe it until it's nice and shiny and clean and make sure it's not wet still. So we went to the bike repair shop and got this tool, it's a patch kit. Inside we have glue, we have different size patches, and we have sandpaper. So you see the directions here. It says, we'll chase back up with the camera, lightly buff the area first, apply the glue, and then put on the patch. So that's what we're gonna do next. Yeah. Okay, okay so, wait, so you can hear it. You could hear the noise and go be quiet right now. Hear it? Okay, good. So now what we need to do is try and patch it up. If it doesn't work, we might need to do a part two on this. So next step is we're going to take out the air from the boat using the same pump but changing it to the deflate setting like this. Sanding the spot that is torn. So, what do you need to sand it until? Just to roughen it up so that the glue sticks on better. Okay, and we forgot yeah. so even if I to announce post, something. Find a leak? Yeah, you, I'm sure you can do it. Find, uh, find as many water, hidden ghosts dry, as you can find, water, which is me. Dry, I'm gonna be. Just go on the shore. Yeah. So why do we use the glue? The yeah. glue is made to fix the hole. So the hole is fixed with the glue and with Oh you can spread it without me. Yeah. So the instructions say let the glue totally dry, make the glue larger than the size of the patch. Mm -hmm. So the glue is dry. Now we're gonna add the patch, peel it off the backing and add okay. it. So right now, 
We are placing it on. Next step, it's all patched up. Pump it up and see if it leaks. Last step, check the seal, spray it out, see if there's any bubbles that form. And it looks like looks like we're good. Yeah. No bubbles. Patch successful. Let's see, let's go try it out on the lake. See if it holds its air. That'll be tomorrow. So that is the end of our video. Next time you see us, we'll be on the lake with the boat in Muskoka. What's great about having an inflatable boat is if you don't have a hitch, the back of your car or whatever vehicle you drive the inflatable fits right in your trunk I've even put it in the Mini Cooper it fits in the Lexus that I have it fits in this van that I have fit if it could fit this Mini Cooper it could fit any car so great option if you don't have storage for a boat or if you don't have hitch for a boat so thanks for watching <laughs> Check out our other videos on our channel. Like, comment, please subscribe. See you later. Bye.